10 days. Uh, we've got a Jayco camper trailer. know by now she, who explores. she who explores look her up on the gram we've teamed up with camplify for the next 10 days and we're going to be traveling road tripping down the east coast of queensland i cannot wait to show maddie my the backyard of queensland where i live tropical paradise palm trees expect amazing sunsets sunrises Soaking. everything in between we're stopping in all the iconic spots uh, we would have just seen Walsh's pyramids surrounded by beautiful cane fields, farms, uh, banana plantations yeah. around there. Absolutely stunning. Highly recommend you guys stop in there. So we did that for sunrise and now we're just at Babinda Bimbi Boulders. Yeah, enjoying a lovely swim. <laughs> beautiful fresh water. <laughs> Considering how touristy it is, there's um, bus areas and campgrounds and stuff. It's so pristine and stunning. Yeah. Um, highly recommend you put this on your list as well. Yeah. Well, we're going to head back. The car is at the campground. Uh, it's free camping for 72 hours there. So uh, stop in there if you're in the area. We'll show you what we've got. So we've teamed up with Camplify for the next 10 days. Uh, we've got a Jayco camper trailer. I'll go show you around it. Yeah, let's go see. So we're back at the camp the camper I'll show you around that in a second but this is the Babinda Boulder campgrounds so beautiful I would definitely come back here and stay for a bit longer but anyways here's the rig my new number plates ready for an adventure <laughs> uh, so that's the first little mod that I've done on my car um, it's very dirty after the drive up from the Gold Coast but this is our little Jayco J-Pod a little bed on wheels, <laughs> luxury on wheels. So luxury. <laughs> I'll show you guys around it a bit better over the next few days, but until then, we're on to the next falls, which I believe is Zilly Falls. Can't wait to go see it.
for the day is, forgive me if I pronounce this wrong, a linear fall. Uh, so this is called the waterfall circuit if you come up to Cairns. So you've got Mila Mila, uh, you've got Dilly Falls, and then this is the last one. Absolutely beautiful. The skies have opened, so everybody's gone home and we've got the waterfall to ourselves. We'll head back to camp for dinner. That's day one done and dusted. I'm sad. Day one's done already. Did you like the acid and tablelands? Yeah, I love them. I love waterfalls. So, yeah. Chicken box. Yeah. How do it. So where we're camping, there's a beautiful little creek out the back. We'll be having a swim in tomorrow morning for sure. But there's also a waterfall hike. So I think it's about 2.2 each way. Yep. Uh, it's Half now, an what, 10 past five and we've just decided to do this. So Sun sets in about We did get hour. worn to wear our uh, clothes and shoes. As you can see, we clearly took that advice. <laughs> this is either the greatest thing or the worst thing we've ever made. But hopefully we see a cassowary, because I have not seen one in the wild, and I would really like to. Well, good morning from Mila Mila Falls. So good that we had to come back and see it twice. Last night we stayed down the road at the Henrietta campground and it was so beautiful, so so quiet. We even saw uh, fireflies flying around. It's the first time I've ever experienced that. A uh, very magical place to stay in the Atherton Tablelands. And it was quite cheap. Uh, I booked it on Queensland Park. So if you want to stay there, go check it out. Um, today, we're stopping here, grabbing some shots, then we're heading all the way down to Mission Beach, stopping at a few uh, locations along the way. Um, now we're just going to have a coffee. I mean, yeah, it's worth place to stop for a coffee in the morning. So today we're stopping in at Paranella Park. It's a must-do in Cairns. Uh, it's got caravan site on park. If you don't know much about Paranella Park, it was created by Jose Paranella in 1929. Uh, it's got, his dream was to build a castle in the jungle and that he has definitely done. Uh, but unfortunately over the years being hit by floods, cyclones, it is getting a bit of wear and tear on it. So the new park owners that bought it in 1993 are here and they're doing a great job trying to restore it and keep it in the condition it was in the time when he built it. Ooh. Now it is a fee uh, to enter so it is $50 for adult and I think $20 for kids but in that your fee, your entry fee you get free camping and that's valid for two years so if you register with the front desk they'll take your name and yeah you can come back and experience it anytime you're heading up to Cairns. So where it is this used to be the highway here but with the new Bruce Highway being built further to the coast. A lot of the traffic doesn't come this way. But if you're doing in for a little detour past Innisfail, I highly recommend you stop in here. They've got ice cream, coffee, cake, and it's just a beautiful bit of Australian Queensland history.
fun fact. Uh, Jose Paranella was way ahead of his time in 1933. He built the first hydroelectricity pump in Queensland. Uh, and now you can bring your electricity cars or electric cars and charge them from a uh, electric pump built in 1933. History meeting future. in Mission Beach and it is a perfect camp spot let me tell you that look at that view and while I've got some time on my hands I just thought I'd run you through the Jayco camper that we've hired from Camplify so Camplify is a app that you can hire camper trailers caravans um, you name it it's on there to hire so if you aren't using your caravan check it out you might be able to make a little bit of extra money while you're not using it um, so this company is called Leisure Caravans. Now they've gone from 10 caravans or camper trailers to 40 in just under 18 months. The caravan camping industry is booming at the moment. Everyone wants to go around Australia. So I just thought this is our little Jayco camper. Uh, we've got our little fridge in there. Nice bed on wheels. It's already made for us. There is a whole heap of storage under here. Oh, if I can lift it up. Three, two, whoop. <laughs> Three, two. Oh gosh, okay, we got there in the end. Uh, there is a table, chairs, uh, batteries. There's even an extra room just there that you can put onto the outside of the camper trailer. Plenty of storage in here. It comes with uh, pots, cutlery, bowls, all that type of stuff. Um, smoke alarms, lights, it's solar charged as well, so you don't always need to hook up to powered sites. So this is our little home on wheels. Oh, and I nearly forgot the best part. This, if I can open it, whoop, is, this is really hard one handed guys. I'll be back. This, so you got the little pool down here mm -hmm. and our Dometic gas cooker and water. Luxury on wheels. So there we go. Just a quick little run through of our Jayco camper that we've got for the next few days. I have done an interview with Julie from Leisure Caravans on her experience with Camplify and if you are looking to hire from Camplify, what you can expect. Uh, I put the link below and that's over on their channel. Anyways, we have got some delicious cheese and platter to make up and we're just gonna enjoy the sunset here at Mission Beach. <laughs> What a perfect little camp spot. Swing and coconut trees, beachfront views, how good. Today we're off down to Airlie Beach. We're gonna stop at all the iconic places along the way like Dingo Beach, our Hideaway Bay, our Horseshoe Bay as well. Uh, I don't wanna leave this place. Unfortunately, it was raining. We just got a rain cloud over us at sunrise this morning. So we missed the iconic Mission Beach sunrise, but if you are coming to Mission Beach, don't forget to stop in and check out the sunrise. It's beautiful here, I don't wanna leave. Well, good. 
good morning from tropical Airlie Beach. Uh, yesterday was a little bit chaotic. We didn't, we underestimated how long that drive was from Mission Beach down to Airlie. Um, we really wanted to stop in at Townsville, but um, when we got there, we wanted to do Castle Hill hike. It was the middle of the day and it was 34 degrees. So we were definitely not doing that. We just stopped in there to grab some lunch and powered on down to Hideaway Beach, Horseshoe Bay and Dingo Beach as well. Uh, absolutely beautiful. If you have time, I recommend staying there a little bit more. Uh, we could only just duck in for a little bit. We just made it to sunset at Hideaway um, and then headed down to Airlie Beach last night. Um, but today we're going to Cedar Creek Falls, <laughs> which is about 20 minutes south from here. And we're just gonna go check out what's in the area of Airlie Beach. We were supposed to do something pretty special today, but we changed our trip a little bit and we're gonna do that tomorrow. So that's gonna be part two of this adventure series down the East Coast. Um, so at the Airlie Beach Caravan Park, we have got luxury tonight. We've actually got a powered site. So the Jayco is solar powered, solar panels up here. But to get our laptops and cameras and all that, charging we needed to get some power so I think it was $50 for the night otherwise $38 for non-powered sites well that was about a 10 second walk from the car park, car park adventure. but it is quite beautiful I just love that all the other hikes we've been on have been like 4k return wool thongs and Berkies. This one we've put our proper running shoes on <laughs> and it's right there. Definitely gonna jump in for a swim. Doesn't look like there's any, oh, there's a rope swing. Gotta get on that. Well, that was a little bit of a quick hello, goodbye to Cedar Creek Falls. There was a mozzie plague there and I've been annihilated. I got bitten on my eyeball. <laughs> My eyelid. My eyelid. Like, what are the chances? Oh, okay. So off to the next little trail. Yeah. yeah. Don't know where that'll be, but we'll find out. We're going adventuring. <laughs> I'll be going under that. Remember that for the way back, Maddie. <laughs> you need your spider stick. Conway track which is about a kilometer to the beach and if you go another 500 meters up track you get to the Beak Lookout which is beautiful it reminds me of the hill inlet so now we're on our way back down we're gonna have a swim at the beach pretty easy little track but make sure you do bring some water because it's quite humid oh the spider has gone we don't like that check yourself <laughs> <laughs> what a perfect way to end an amazing day in Airlie Beach. What an amazing couple of days we've had all the way from Walsh's Pyramid down to Airlie Beach. Yeah. It's, the Jayco's been amazing. It's been a great experience. We've had amazing weather. So lucky to have this experience. Yeah, we're um, 
I don't know about you, but I'm exhausted. <laughs> Maddie even got behind the FJ and had a drive. What did you feel? Yeah, no, I really did. With the camper it. trailer? Yeah, it's yeah. sweet. <laughs> it's first time driving with a trailer too, so um, look, tick the, that one off the bucket list. Look, so. I'm not going to be biased, but my car's a beast. It handles it great. <laughs> Very good. <laughs> Make sure you subscribe to the channel because this isn't the end of the adventure. We've no, still got not. another couple of days heading down the coast tomorrow. We're still in Ailey Beach. Yeah. I wonder what we could be doing. Ooh. <laughs> we're going, we're going fishing. fishing! Hopefully we'll catch some fish this time. I don't know, I don't have much luck really. <laughs> I'm sure we'll be fine. So make sure you subscribe to the YouTube channel, give Maddie a follow on Instagram. While you're at it, go check out my channel. <laughs> we'll, uh, see we'll see you on the next adventure. Yeah. Bye!